What's up YouTube, Defragging here, and today I'm going to go over uh, frost decays, whether to use dual wielding or two hands. Now I did some averaging on a level 85 training dummy, and here's some of the things I came up with. Uh, for the two-handed combat, I went and uh, for two minutes of straight combat with two hands, here's the first three top damage duns and DPS that I got after two minutes and beside that you'll see the dual wielding combat for two minutes and the three uh, averages and damage that I got for it now whenever I average both of those out two-handed comes out above dual wielding and the main reason for this is I noticed with dual wielding uh, I become starved on runic power like where you don't generate as much runic power because with two handers you have the might of the frozen wastes talent which increases as like a 15% chance for your auto attacks to generate 10 runic power and you become really starved on uh, dual wielding you have a lot more downtime than what you do with uh, two hands and I think that's the main reason why two hands comes out on top in more sustained DPS. Uh, now getting into the burst, I did 20 second bursts for, I did five for each. So I did five 20 second bursts for two hand and five 20 second bursts for dual wielding. Now the main reason I did five is because the first 20 seconds is, it's very like how much damage you do is very dependent on how many times killing machine bro uh, procs. So, I mean, it's not always going to proc the same amount, especially within just a 20 second span. So, here is the results I got with the two handed 20 second bursts. The highest I, uh, the highest amount of damage I done within those 20 seconds was 439,000. And here is the dual wielding 20 second bursts and the highest I got with the bursts on that is 446,000 almost 447,000 damage within 20 seconds now averaging these out you'll see that dual wielding comes up above uh, two hands and the main reason for that is because killing machine procs more with dual wielding than it does with two hands because your offhand's auto attacks also have a chance of causing killing machine to proc as well as your main hands with dual or with two hands you only have one weapon's auto attacks that has an actual chance of causing killing machine to proc and because of that you're able to pull higher burst with dual wielding but you're able to pull more sustained damage with two hands because of the increased runic generation now when it comes down to all this, like there is no real huge difference between uh, between the two that is game changing. Uh, sure, some are more like some are better in certain situations. Like I would think that dual wielding would be better for twos in arena because twos typically don't last as long as threes or fives, and uh, this higher sustained uh, sustained damage would be more beneficial in threes and fives from two hand uh, two handing which is what I would think but I mean I have had uh, twos arenas last 45 minutes before but that was just uh, I don't even want to get into that but yeah this is what I've come up with so basically there's no huge difference in the uh, difference in the damage done by dual wielding or two hands both of them are extremely great for PvP. Of uh, There's no real reason to go out of your way to switch from two hands to dual welding or switch from dual welding to two hands. And, well, I hope you like this little quick, uh, I guess, explanation of the differences between dual welding and two-handed combat for Frost DKs. Please like and favorite this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel as it really helps me out.